The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe has scrapped the 10% trading margin above the interbank rate for business in order to liberalize the foreign exchange rate and guarantee exchange rate stability. Economists say this is a good move for business, especially the retail sector. But for consumers, it's a different story. Our reporter Melissa Shatikobo brings us more. In May 2022, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe advised the market that the pricing of goods and services will be based on the prevailing interbank market rate, plus a margin of up to 10%. This limit has been scraped off and business is now allowed to set its own exchange rates. Economist Nigel Chimofu says this will allow retailers to pay competitive prices, but citizens may now have to pay more for goods and services. From a customer perspective, Customers are going to suffer, especially those ones that end in the RTGS. And from the retailer, the retailer is happy because the government is now giving a retailer a leeway to charge prices at a competitive market. The bank policy rate has been cut from 150% to 130% per annum. Economist Jukombo Spanda says this will promote the usage of the local currency. The, the central bank is just trying to encourage or to lower the cost of borrowing in local currents to, to business. With effects from 1 November 2023, foreign currency intentions on exports shall be standardized at the level of 75% across all sectors of the economy. According to Jikomborero Sibanda, this may increase foreign exchange resources available to the central bank. We have standardized um, in that um, everybody else is actually now uh, acceding uh, about 25% to the central bank. Yes, uh, in terms of uh, central bank uh, foreign currency generation, it will increase and you hope the government somehow. The central bank says while it is pleased with the relative exchange rate and price stability obtaining in the economy since June, it will still keep an eye on emerging risks. Reporting for ZTM Prime, I am Melissa Chitkobo in Harare.